So this is deep dermal stitching. So what we're going to be doing is going below this top layer of the dermis. We're going to take our bite just below the skin, the top layer of the skin, and we're going to go all the way to the bottom of the dermal layer without touching the fat. Now you don't want to take your bite right up into the, the edge of the skin because then you can lead to uh, compromised blood flow which can lead to necrosis and we definitely do not want any necrosis on the skin. So you can see coming out right below the skin. Okay, we're going to reload our needle and this is a continuous stitch. Again, we're taking a bite, but we're not touching the top of the skin edge, and we're also not going to touch the fat. I'm trying to prevent my stitch from getting locked here. So you want both edges to be on the same side so that it doesn't get locked. Again, we're going into the deep dermal layer. We're coming out right below the tip, underneath the skin, okay? I'm going to do one more. Okay, so now you can see I've got a nice little continuous stitch. The way we're going to close this is with an instrument tie. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. And you should not be able to see this knot, okay? If you can see the knot, it might form what you call a spitting suture, and that's when your patient is actually going to return with an inflamed erythematous, maybe even purulent little infection, and you actually have to cut your knot out. So you can see, this is called the deep dermal stitching because it's below the top dermal layer here. Typically you're going to put another stitch on top to actually approximate the skin, okay?